Gullible Pants has three very complicated mistakes, so I'm just gonna get right into them. Here's the first one. Let's see if you guys can catch it yourselves. 451, 452, 450. Four hundred and fifty-four, four hundred and fifty-five, four hundred and fifty. Ah! Like I said, this one is very, very complicated, so take a look at this shot. As you can see, Incidental 92 is eating with Incidental 51. They're having a nice meal together. But like seconds later, and now Incidental 92 is eating with a completely different fish. The other mistake is quite similar. In that opening shot, we can see Incidental 48 eating with Incidental 41. But then, seconds later, and now Incidental 48 is eating with a completely different fish in seconds. So definitely a mistake, and there are a ton of mistakes in this one section. It's pretty bad. There's some crazier ones coming up though, so stay tuned. We need to make some room in your head for bike riding. How to watch TV? Nah, it's not important. Put on your pants? Overrated. Family? Eh, unnecessary. Ooh, I think someone's finally ready to ride a bicycle. Next up is the episode Ride Patrick Ride, which is all about Patrick learning how to ride a bike. He isn't very good at it at first, but he eventually gets pretty good. Here's some clips from the episode, really funny. Wanna go for a bike ride through jellyfish fields? I forgot I don't have a bike. I can teach you how to be an expert bicyclist. <laughs> You know, of all people, I don't think SpongeBob should have been the one trying to teach Patrick how to ride anything, considering this dude can't even ride a boat. I know he can ride a bike in the episode, but SpongeBob, you're not a very good teacher. Anyways, though, let's get into the first mistake from this episode. This one is very easy to miss, and I'm very proud of myself for finding it. Roll the footage. <laughs> Becoming the greatest bicyclist who has ever lived, I present you the key to Bikini Bottom. So as you can see in this scene where SpongeBob and Patrick are pumping up the tires to Patrick's bike inside SpongeBob's house, Patrick's bike, the handles, right, have these like ribbons or beamers coming out of it, right? These stringy things coming out. It's red. It's right here. I'm circling it. Remember this, as during this scene where Patrick is getting a key from City Hall due to saving a bunch of people, it's so funny, those ribbons are not on the handles of his bike. And the reason this is really a mistake is seconds later in this same scene, look, he has the ribbons in this scene, the lady with the keys right beside him. But if we rewind for just a couple of seconds in this shot where it's zoomed out, he doesn't have the ribbons on his handles. So they're there in this shot, but in this shot, they're not there making for a really weird mistake. I'm so proud of myself for catching this one. That's not it for this episode though. Here's the other mistake. <laughs> I didn't let go! <laughs> you need something to help you focus. Oh, hello. <laughs> So as you can see here, this is how Conch Street looks, right? Okay, the iconic street where SpongeBob, Patrick, and Squidward live. And right beside SpongeBob's house is Squidward's house, right? As you can see in this shot. But in this episode, Ride Patrick Ride, whenever we get this view of SpongeBob's house, um, where is Squidward's house? I guess you could say it's farther to the left, but I mean, just look at some of these shots of Conch Street. No, it's directly to the left of SpongeBob's. So it should be visible in this shot, but I feel like the animators were just feeling kind of lazy and it would have been a lot more work to draw it so they just didn't draw it but whatever mistakes happen let's keep it moving and head over to another episode with some wild mistakes trust me guys you'll want to stay tuned
So as I just said, the next episode is Yellow Pavement, and this is really cool, as if any of you have seen the Season 5 episode Boat Smarts, they're very similar where it's Miss Puff presenting an educational film about driving. Here are some clips. <laughs> It's a bit of a weird setup for an episode, but I totally get it and I'm into it. It's really funny seeing all of the different driving scenes. But let's get into the mistakes. They're spicy. Here's mistake number one. Here we have the cunning little old lady. This one happens really fast, but as Squidward, like right as he goes off screen for a single frame, there's something up with his face. Looks really odd. I'm pretty sure you guys can figure out what's going on here. I feel bad for Squidward. But let's move over to mistake number two. This one's even crazier. The common fruit vendor. <laughs> driver may think he can let his guard down. So right after Squidward nearly kills this like orange version of Patrick, like doesn't this guy look exactly like Patrick? He eventually runs into these two dudes carrying a piece of ice. And take a look at this incidental right here. As you can see, he's wearing his work uniform, which is brown, but take a look at like his arms and his chest. As he's wearing like a blue shirt underneath the brown part of his outfit. I know I'm really explaining this, but remember this. As when Squidward jumps the piece of glass, look, that undershirt has completely changed and it's now the same color as like the brown part. It's just all brown. I'm kind of overthinking this one, but hey, it's still a continuity error. And let's move over to our final episode for our spiciest mistake. Next up is a very hilarious episode. That being the episode Dear Vikings, an episode where SpongeBob writes a letter to Vikings and they actually respond and show up. Check it out. I, like I said, really funny episode. Dear Vikings, I am writing to ask you guys about your life and stuff. If you would take the time to answer all my neat questions, then that would be really swell. Your Majesty, look, a letter. How incredibly interesting. I must read it at once. Welcome to the Krusty Krab, may I take your order? Dear Vikings, our chieftain sent us here because we got this letter. SpongeBob, there's some Vikings here to see you. See, I told you, really funny. But what isn't so funny is the mistake hidden in this episode. It's very easy to miss. Let's see if you guys can spot it on your own. Regular, large, and the new Viking size. But Mr. Krabs, these are all the same size cup. And don't forget, each participating patron who purchases any drink of our new Krusty Krab Viking size cup gets a chance to try on this genuine cardboard Viking helmet. Mr. Krabs? What's a Viking? Oh, well, uh, the Vikings lived a long time ago. So as you can see in this shot, SpongeBob has holes or pores on his sides, right? Because, you know, he's a sponge. But during this one shot of the opening, his pores are just gone. The, they're just missing. Talk about a mistake, especially when they were there literally seconds before. Don't click off yet, though. This next mistake is crazy. Howdy, Bubble Bass. I reckon you're hankering for a delicious new dish. <laughs> Smoky stupidity. Sandy Cheeks has come up with a lot of revolutionary ideas for the Krusty Krab. For example, the episode where she comes up with a growth hormone that makes Krabby Patties bigger. But season 13's Hot Crust Nuts is definitely her biggest endeavor yet, where they're making these nuts that do this. Here, take a look for yourself. I brought a little something of my own from home, from home, from home, from home. <laughs> Smoking barbecue nuts. There is no outside food allowed at the Krusty Krab. Come on, SpongeBob. I won't spill the nuts if you won't. 
go. Try one. That's enough. I'm confiscating these unauthorized acres. Now this episode has two mistakes in total. Here's the first one, it's very easy to miss, and it has to do with the chum bucket. <laughs> you love the new look? I'm just here for the nuts. So take a look at these clips. The Krusty Krab and Chum Bucket are supposed to be directly across from one another. It's been seen like this in so many episodes, guys, but in some of these scenes from Hot Cross to Nuts, um, the Chum Bucket just isn't there. Even the path to the Chum Bucket is missing at times. It's just like the Chum Bucket just does not exist in this episode, which is totally a mistake. But guys, this next mistake is way worse. This one is really, really really bad. Huh? Hey everybody, this table's got that smoky Texas tag. Uh, no, stop it. Be restaurant. No! So when all the incidentals start freaking out and eating the Krusty Krab, I want you to watch this in slow motion from the outside because the animators were really lazy with all of these incidentals. For one, they have no pupils. They have like literal just blank white eyes. Same thing with their mouth and multiple of them are duplicated. Like look at how many times the one with a blue shirt and a cowboy hat is shown. The main thing here is just they were very lazily drawn for this one section. And I get it, it's a quick section where they just eat the crusty crab but yeah there should have been some more effort put into these incidentals this isn't season one it's season 13. our next set of mistakes can be found in the episode can you spare a dime an episode where squidward quits his job and well this happens he ends up living with spongebob and pushing it way too far spare change Spare change, ma'am. Squidward? Squidward, is that you? I lost my job, my home, everything. Even your paintings? Nobody would take them, so I had to eat them. There, there. You can come live with me. Okay, but just till I get a job, one day, Two days tops. Nonsense. You stay as long as you need to. So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. I know he still isn't looking for work. Don't rub it in. Yeah, like I said, Squidward takes things way too far and kind of takes advantage of SpongeBob's kindness, eventually leading to these next set of clips. And there's also a mistake hidden in these clips. Let's see if you guys can spot it. It's about time you got here. Here you go, your majesty. I can't drink that. Why not? That lemon has three seeds in it. That's an odd number! Because when I need a job done, I get someone with a job to do that job! What are you saying? So here's the thing. This is how SpongeBob gets to the Krusty Krab. He comes out of his house and he goes to the left. We've seen this in many episodes, right? The Krusty Krab is to the left of SpongeBob's house. But in this one shot, SpongeBob goes the complete opposite way. He goes to the right, which is definitely a mistake. Ah, you dust divinely. Now dust the back. Ah, the, the, the very good sir urchin, sir. And quack. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. What I thought. Up next is the episode Sea Urchin and Snail Fail. And this episode is a really good one. Like, to be honest with you, all of these new season 13 episodes have been really solid. There's lots of Easter eggs, which by the way, we also did a video on that. But they're good episodes. Of course, they do have a mistake. But before that, here's some funny clips from this episode. Our favorite comedy team just broke up on live TV. As devoted fans, it's our duty to convince our two idols to get back together. Cotton and I broke up five minutes ago, and since then, times have been tough. Mm. You guys are so funny back then. How would you like to be snail failed a second? Would I? <laughs> I 
know a stage where people would love to see you act. Hmm, really? He hath borne me on his fishtail a thousand times. Ow! Like I said, it's a good episode, but I mean, the episode does have a mistake, guys, and the mistake's actually like really bad. It happens quickly, but let's see if you guys can spot it. It has to do with a certain starfish's shorts. I want the audience to know that I am a real thespian. Well, you want to be a serious actor? Nobody's stopping you. Exit stage left. <laughs> <laughs> you guys probably caught this one, but when Patrick is sitting on the couch and laughing with SpongeBob, um, the purple flowers on Patrick's pants disappear as he's laughing. Now, this was most likely more of like an animation glitch because they're there for the most part, but just during this one spot in the episode, they disappear and it looks so weird, dude. Like, it's so weird seeing Patrick just wear green pants like this, but hey, mistakes happen. Let's keep it rolling and head over to the next episode. Our next episode is a Spongebob classic. I'm talking about Krabby Land. This episode is all about Mr. Krabs coming up with a new scheme to get money out of kids on summer vacation. Here are some clips, it's hilarious. You see, boy, during the summer, the children are excused from their classes, a recess commonly referred to as summer break. I guess summer isn't coming this year. Hey, maybe they're all at that new playground over there. Playground! Burn away, me young customers! Just look at them, SpongeBob. So weak and malnourished, with nobody trying to sell them nothing. <laughs> Breaks me heart. <laughs> the way you drove the boat, the lying on the ground was kind of cool. But that's not gonna get these munchkins away from this playground. Unless... SpongeBob! You're just in time for the grand unveiling of Krabby Land! Here we go! I give you Krabby Land! Now, as funny as this episode is, it does have two mistakes that are very easy to miss. Another day, another dollar. Gee, I wonder what Mr. Krabs has been up to since I saw him last and then went home to do nothing of particular interest till this very moment. Huh? So as you guys seen, Krabby Land is meant for little kids. But during this scene where we see like this big lineup of people waiting, we can see numerous adults incidentals. They're supposed to be kids, but the animators put adults instead, which was a mistake. Here's another one though, and let's see if you lovely people can spot it yourselves. They seem to respond to me being in pain. They enjoy other people's misery. This one is definitely easy to miss, but this incidental right here loses their eyes, well, their pupils, not their actual eyes, but the pupils in their eyes for about like a second. It looks really rough. And last but not least is the episode, A Skin Wrinkle in Time. Now, this one isn't necessarily new. If you're a longtime SpongeBob fan, it came out a while ago, but it's still a really good episode and I found a new mistake. So let's just dive right into the mistakes. Here's the first one, it's really bad. Sweet Neptune, have I found the beginning of the universe? <laughs> this town ain't big enough for the both of us. <laughs> So here's the thing, when Grand Pat arrives in this place, we get a shot of the Krusty Cantina and it looks like this, right? You can see that somebody hand wrote it and it says Krusty Cantining, right? Which is incorrect because in every other shot, it looks like this and says Krusty Cantina. It's supposed to look like this, Krusty Cantina, but the mistake is that in this one shot, it was written incorrectly and it says Krusty Cantining, whatever that means, it makes no sense. But let's move over to this episode's second mistake. 
Grandpad gets himself into some ridiculous situations. But anyways, as you can see, this cowboy looking dude right here, he has a long sleeve t-shirt on. And at the ending of the long sleeve t-shirt, there's like these cuffs on his white shirt. But as he jumps for about a frame, these change to the same color as his skin. So a really weird animation error here. Like, I don't know how the animators messed it up. It's very strange. Now that's probably going to do it for today's video, guys. But a massive shout out to the Grapple Gang. I love you guys. Seriously, all of you guys showing support. You guys mean so much to me. And even the Premiere Gang, who's here at the Premiere. I'm probably chatting with you guys right now. By the way, to anybody who doesn't know, I've been streaming on grapple lately. I play games with viewers, so I'll play Roblox with viewers, or I'll play Mario Kart and other games with viewers. There's footage on screen right now of me streaming, and uh, yeah, make sure to hit the bell. Here's a graphic showing you where you need to click. That way, you guys are notified whenever I go live. You guys will get a notification, and you guys can come hang with me. You guys can come hang out with Cartoon Cory. You watching this video right now can play games with Cartoon Cory. But yeah, I love you guys. Let me know if you found those three codes in the comments, and I'll be back tomorrow with more SpongeBob content. Gang, 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 gang. I love you guys. Peace.